Welcome to Natural Skincare School. Um, my name is Victoria Dewey. In this special, very, very important video, I want to share with you the best preservative, preservative to use for natural skincare products. Even though I will be talking about natural skincare uh, products, I will also be talking about some synthetic uh, preservation preservatives that will help you along along your way they are very very important mind you even though we are in the natural sector you can use it as long as you note it down okay as long as you mention it to either your client or you mentioning that you use this particular non-toxic synthetic um, preservative so i'll go into detail later so first the most most important natural preservative that all um natural you know skincare brand use is geocard ect geocard ect also called preservative echo it's uh um, it, it contains benzyl alcohol salicylic acid glycerin and sobic acid it's a very good broad spectrum preservative that is cosmo and ecosat approved so this is the number one preservative they all use it helps to protect against mold uh, yeast and bacteria it's very very effective i mean very very effective and it's good for ph ring between three to eight so that's that's just what you need to know when you're using it make sure whatever you are formulating is between the this uh the range of three and eight if it's over eight it's going to deactivate your preservative if it's below three it's going to deactivate your preservative so keep that in mind as you formulate this is the number one highly highly recommended preservative in the natural sector other um, other ones also that I can uh, talk to you about they're not as popular as geocard ect it is called geocard 221 is also and uh, ecosad approved and cosmo approved uh, preservative very good also for but it's not as you know as effective as geocard ect after several years of formulation this has failed me on several occasions as you can see it only has benzyl alcohol and the high uh, you know dehydroacetic acid so it's not as strong as geocard ect even though some people still do use it i really do not recommend this it's not as strong as this if you want peace of mind go for geocardicity also called preservative echo um another preservative that i rec i highly recommend uh, i don't really recommend this also i'm sorry to say not highly recommend but it's the second the first one geocard ect geocard 221 they're all natural preservatives okay another number three natural preservative that is also being used is called naticide okay also called plantisaf q naticide has its own down downside okay naticide has its own downside it's a uh, natural derived in a frag fragrance mixture of uh, almond sweet almond oil and um um sweet almond oil and you know what it's usually used at the end of the formulation and so on it helps okay to protect against some yeast and molds okay effective against yeast and mold but not against bacteria so that's why um it's i don't use it okay i do not use natticide at all okay this preservative can also you know be used in certain formulation that are not water-based but I don't use it at all, so I, I don't recommend it because I've never used it before. And also, um, Geocard 221, I don't use that much, so I don't because uh, it has it's very, very limited in its ability to fight germs. Okay, so other preservative that I do use, which I'll talk to you about, is this. It's Dama Soft Pentio Echo okay this preservative even though many people you know dread this preservative it's still not as bad as uh, many think it's a natural preservative made by evonik evonik is a company started by dr straight so this is a natural dama soft 
pentyl herco is a natural preservative okay it's not made with uh, synthetic or, or toxic uh, products the inky name is as you can see here is pentylene glycol okay pentylene not pentyl pen pentylene glycol so you can use it between one percent and five percent it's also a natural preservative if you want to use it uh, to use this, what I how I use it is that I use it in conjunction with other preservatives. Sometimes when I use, uh, um, for instance, when I use a uh, synthetic, uh, a synthetic preservative, I will tell you why. Sometimes use pre synthetic preservative, but I'll tell you that in a little while. When I use a little bit of uh, liquid gem, I might add a bit of pentyl herco for some peace of mind. Sometimes I do that, and it does never. Uh, never failed me so that's what I use this for and if you want to use it alone you know you can test this just test it make it in your product and uh, store it in, uh, in a light jar and see how your your skincare product you know feels I'll still be using some of these in my test video and I'll be showing them to you so that's the, the fourth natural preservative that I um, that, that is being used in the skincare industry now let's come to synthetic preservative i know i know a lot of people think like synthetic is so bad oh it's bad it's bad let me tell you something as formulators you have to keep in mind that the we are in charge of formulating things that take that you know that is very very sensitive you know the skin is the largest organ in the body and I do tell, say this to my you know, mentees, my students, if you fail at the preservative level, you can, your skincare brand can get in trouble, you can get sued, because you can destroy someone's skin. So I always tell people, I know natural, we always talk about natural preservative, natural preservative. Well, um, there's nothing bad in using a little bit of synthetic, even if all your products are natural, mind you. You can use a little bit of synthetic preservative, but please mention it in your product uh, description and make sure you tell them it's a non-toxic preservative. The, pr the synthetic preservative that I'm going to show you right now, they are non-toxic, so there's nothing to worry about when you are making skincare products, as long as you use it within the acceptable range. So the number one here is Liquid Jama Plus. Okay, Liquid Jama Plus is number one preservative that I highly recommend. You ask me, oh, you're talking about natural. You know, yes, we are talking about natural, but we are also talking about the skin, the largest organ in the body. We cannot afford to mess up the skin of our clients or our customers. So we have to put the, uh, the skin first when we are formulating uh, skincare uh, products. So that being said, Liquid Gemma Plus, it's a good preservative. This preservative, it's highly effective as a broad range preservative that you know activate between three and eight and it's used at the cool down phase like most other preservatives it's used at 0 0.5 percent i personally use it at 0 0.5 and when i formulate skincare product for any of my even before i formulate it i ask for their permission because this is going to protect the skin of your customer and will protect your own skin it's a win-win situation but as long as you disclose it so you cannot use this and call your product natural. You can say, okay, it's 99.5% natural. You can say that there if all other products that you use are natural or all other products you use are organic and you use this amazing, amazing preservative. It's a very strong preservative, uh, though synthetic, but very strong, broad range uh, preservative. It's called Liquid Jama Plus. So that's one preservative that I use. Another preservative that I use is Lucida Liquid Complete. You ask me how do I use it? This is uh, synthetic. Is this synthetic? Some people call it natural. Some people call it synthetic. You can use this, especially when you're making uh, clay products. Okay. You can use it in conjunction with other preservatives. You can use this. Okay. At two percent, and can use this at zero point five percent when you are making clay products. Okay. Trust me, trust me, if you want to use geogadicity to uh, preserve a clay, you're just deceiving yourself. It will not preserve it. Clay are hard to preserve, so you can use this 
and a little uh, this and a little bit of this to prepare. But when the time comes, I will show you how to preserve uh, that. So that is another one that I use. Okay, liquid leaf cedar liquid complete. It's also a very good uh, broad spectrum preservative. Let me tell you a bit about it. It's a mixture of antibacteria, you know, peptide technology. I'm talking about Lysida Liquid Complete, and um, it's a very, very good, okay, it's, uh, it's actually derived from coconut, some, pe some people call it uh, natural, some say it's non-natural, but most people still call it a very, very good uh, broad spectrum preservative, so it's, uh, so far so good, I think it's a good preservative, I've used it on several occasions and it's not that bad. Um, I think it's a natural, looking at all the description here, I can see that it's a natural, here are the description that I have for leaves, cedar liquid complete, so it's a natural preservative also, me, based on the description, is natural, so, but I don't use it all the time, what I, if I have to use a synthetic preservative at all, this is what I use, um, so, another preservative that I just got, okay, that I just got recently, not so long ago. I haven't even opened it. I showed you my list of new products. Uh, a fellow, you know, formulator that we have been in this uh, formulation journey for so long actually recommended this to me. I like trying new products. Uh, what interests me about it is the presence of the final ethanol, okay? It's not, this is not a bad preservative. It's a good looking at uh, so let me look for the description here so as to so we can be on the same page. I put this up uh, off Windy Point website and uh, it says it's a paraben free formaldehyde free preservative, um, particularly within lower pH system. Okay, it protects against bacteria yield mold growth and is best in formulation of six uh, pH. So, if your formulation, for instance, has the pH of five, it will deactivate this preservative. So, that's just the, the only thing is it has to be six. Okay, the pH has to be six. It can be used as a standalone preservative and or along with other preservative. And um, you can use it uh, with uh, along, you know to make different skincare products and the inky, inky name is fino ethanol and capric glycol and sorbic acid that, that sound really really very safe these are safe chemical to use to formulate your products and it can be used at the range of 0.75 percent to 1.5 percent and should be used okay uh, below 80 degree or the um, pre or post emulsification process so it's so far so good, it's non-toxic, it's uh, so far so good to humans, it's non-toxic and it's a very good preservative. I haven't started using it and before I use any preservative, I take my client's permission and if I use any synthetic skincare pr um, of preservative, I mention that, okay, in the description of my products just because we have to be more transparent everyone has to know what we put in their skincare so that's what i do so if you use any of this preservative make sure you mention it i'm going to show all this preservative to you right now uh geocardicity is a natural one i didn't i don't have the bottle for the other one another natural preservative is uh, demasoft pentio echo okay and the uh, synthetic that i use i mean this is what i use I've used this for a long time and I know it works really well. It has never really disappointed me. It's a synthetic but non-toxic uh, preservative. Also, leaf cedar, liquid complete. They said it's natural, I'm not sure, but they say it's natural, it's made from coconut oil, um, MCT, I mean. So so these two are synthetic, Opsipen Plus and Liquid Gemma Plus. They are both synthetic but they are non-toxic they are safe to be used just make sure when you use any synthetic uh, preservative in your natural skincare products make sure you let your customer know you need to you know be more transparent in with your customer so it's very very important that you mention that so that's the best so far so good these are the best preservative on the market they are good in that they have never failed they have been they've been used over and over again this you can be sure of the only thing i'm going to tell you is if you have to use uh, pentio echo 
you can use it in conjunction with another preservative do not just use it alone pentyl heco needs to be used with another preservative even though the maker said you can use it alone i personally feel it's a preservative that you should add to another preservative okay because it's just the inky is pentyl glycol okay so no the, you can't use pentyl glycol alone as a preservative so you may want to use another preservative that has other very good uh, components so if you have to use if you use a little bit of this then you can use a little bit of uh, perhaps geocad ect both of them should be good to go that's about it for this video if you have any question about preservative uh the type of preservative you, you should use or if you have any suggestion about preservative in general feel free to drop them in the comment box below thank you so much for watching remember on this channel i teach you i i share my you know formulation experience with you that you will never find in any other spots online even if you find them online they will charge you extra extra amount of money i know this from experience i'm giving this away all for free because i want to build a community of like-minded okay you ask me why are you doing all this victoria i um, want to be the community of like-minded uh, um, formulators so that we learn we all learn together we all grow together and possibly in the future we all uh, have a uh, uh, competition ld competition and uh, we all have conference together so i have that plan so i want to use this avenue to bring us all together so that we know of the latest trend in the industry and we know the way forward and we share formulation ideas and tips so if you want to learn more want to grow more in your formulation journey whatever you learn in your online school so it's actually very very little compared to what you will gain on this channel i know you go to formula botanica you go to school of natural skin i understand it which is it's your choice right and it's nothing bad in going to wherever you want to go to but they give you limited and limited practical what i'm showing you right now is live practical example that even more sometimes more practical than what you learn in school so that's exactly what this channel is all about so feel free to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified anytime i upload new i upload new new videos every now and then so you must uh, you should uh, i implore you to click that subscribe that's the only way to encourage my effort if you have been watching and you don't click the subscribe button that may just you know some uh, encouraging me the only encouragement i need now is your love by clicking that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload with new videos i share so much my of my experience with passion because this is what i do right this is my passion i love skincare formulation so much that i will continue to impact you with this knowledge you know as we uh, day by day week by week on this channel it's just my joy to make you have beautiful skin and help you help others too to have lovely <coughs> excuse me lovely and beautiful skin so have a wonderful day don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification icon <coughs> excuse me to be notified when i upload new videos thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend